right, so I've got Spon or Spon what's like SpongeBob, <laughs> Ziploc Bob with me, and we have a, a who lives a in pickup. a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> and we also have a pickup guest tonight. Can I say your name, Mar Martour. Martyr, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Another <laughs> Jesus name. Another uh, Martyr, uh, picked Whatever. up us with a, in the last game. We actually uh, will post our uh, chat in the uh, game. So people join us on audio chat, and we happen to pick up with us and them for a few rounds. Yeah, I'll probably get about four or five more rounds in me. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but it's way later over here. Oh, I just I understand, man. It's not a problem. Hey, technically, it's late here, and you know, I'm on the I'm on the uh, west coast. Come on. I have a lot of fun playing the lower tiers, but at the same time, it kind of kills me. Like, I don't have sonar. I don't have torps. It's as slow as it gets, man. <laughs> yeah, well, things will pick up as I level up, and you can use bigger stuff. Yeah, well, I've 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 bought and sold my low tier ships many times over. Because every time we get somebody new, the group starting out, we'll buy up our old ships again and start playing. Yeah, if you ever guys ever see me playing online, uh, oftentimes you'll see me post the uh, chat. You guys are always welcome to jump in the chat. We're always happy to. Happy to say hi. You can beware. You can even harass me. Don't know about the other two, but <laughs> harassment's a hobby. Want to go all the way around the islands or uh, cut between these two? Uh, you tell me. I'm easy either way. Then we cut between the two. Happy faster is better. Somebody's over there. There's you. Oh, yeah, now the story's over there. It's solid. Gotta make short work of them. It would be nice if the. Yeah, I'm kicking back, plane. kicking back to quarter speed so you guys can catch up. Yeah, well, Bobby, go uh, left around the small end in front of us and head right. See what Take him off guard. Yeah, try to pencil him in and just waylay him. Hopefully. Oh, he just popped up. He's behind the island. Wix. Oh, yeah, there he is. No, he's, he's right range. in front of me. What are the range? About five clicks. Yeah, five or six, right? On the corpse. All right, turn it. Right as I fire every single time. Yeah, I'm gonna go around this island over here in case I... he trusts the deck behind it. Watch out for that Wyoming. Uh, lining up on you. Yeah, he is. Ah, uh, and there's Miyogi. Thanks for the heads up. Just oh shite! Uh, he got me hard. That's gonna suck. Alright, so that I'm trying a, to beat that was a hard hit. Grab the island. <laughs> Problem solved, sir. Turn to the firestorm. Yeah, he ducked behind the island. I can barely see him. Yeah. I'm pulling hard out. Mine was right in my face. Tag, fucker. <laughs> Cure it. And yeah. The enemy team has taken the lead. Oh, I'm getting tagged. Nope. Like a friendly area, that we get close. 
solid weeks. And I'm immobilized. Great. That's all I freaking need. Yeah, you, you need to turn tail and run. What if I could? <laughs> repair, repair. <laughs> oh, man, that white one was the damn near on top of you, man. Like when you get stuck in that hard rudder where you're just like going in a straight circle. That, that's the only time my, my res ever gets stuck in a really hard turn. I'm gone. Dang it. Dang it. Hit that wicks close to you. That's the one I was hitting. Oh, I see him. Almost dead. There we go. That's what I was shooting at. I was, I was, trying, I was trying to run away. I don't get the kill, but you know what? I'm happy with that nonetheless. Come on, little turd, do good for our team. Yeah, we have someone on our team called Little Turd. Hey. Hey, he's at full health, so neither one of us can say anything. I don't know. Destroyers at the low levels are really fun. They're so much easier. Oh yeah, and I, like, like I said, destroyers are fun. It, it's one of those things that it's one thing I appreciate about this game is that all these different ships do have a very different personality in the way they play. They can't be a lot of fun yeah. because they're very different dynamics. Yeah. Which well, is as you go up in tiers, the destroyer dynamic changes drastically. I'm sure it does. We'll see as people learn, like, oh, don't drive in a straight line forever. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things that kills me, too, is whenever I upgrade uh, destroyers, I'll uh, go ahead and move my captain over, but there's that retraining time you have to go through with the captain's control gone. And when you're a destroyer, yeah. not being able to tell when you're detecting sucks. Yeah. Both those skills are useful, both the artillery and, and the uh, extra one. Extra one, you can get semi used to it if you're really used to piloting that, just, you know, piloting that ship. Oh, little crap was behind me. You're gonna clear it, barely. Yeah, Slow down. Doing a hard turn. Come on, jerk. Pop out. Yeah, it's a destroyer, like, torpedo fights. Slow down. Like, you got more coming hitting. in from the distance. Damn. Torpedo to starboard. I was like, dang it, if I can't help, actually, I'll <laughs> be on the crow's nest. Yep. Either those small ones, I got about like very few American ones, I get about a 30 second reload, and usually they can waggle. They have like one side of torps on either side, so. Well, since this is a naval combat game, here's a good joke for you. Oh God! So you had the, so you had the, you know the, general of the army, general of the navy, general of the, general of the air force. They're all together trying to figure out who's got the best troops right and it was like okay well well the navy general decided to be unfair for got one of the higher rank king guys and marines to represent them right right so they're, they're all always like okay here here's what we'll do because we've been wagging our dicks about this for way too long we'll do it based on bravery we all agree to that. They all agree to it. It's like, okay, well, the army got us set. The Marine set to go first, right? Marine walks up to it. Marine walks up to a number, to a Marine, Marine, yeah, Marine recruit and says, okay, I want to take this M16 and shoot yourself. Doesn't even question it, grabs the M16, 
shoots himself dead there on the spot. And it's like, see, that's brave. He follows orders without even questioning it. That's how dedicated he is. It's like, okay. So then, the Air the Air Force or Force General get goes to a fire pilot and says, "Pilot, I want you to jump into this aircraft and fly into that mountain." Therefore, the pilot jumps in the aircraft, flies into the side of the mountain, doesn't even pull up at the last second. Right? It's like, see, this guy's so brave that even if it's an action that it hey, that you have to commit to the entire time, nothing. It's like, all right, the guy, the army oh, general. Come like, on. Okay, I got one for you. One better for you. He calls an entire platoon to attention. You're at the position of attention. You cannot move at all. And he gets a guy in a Bradley to just run them all over. Flinch. It's like, all right. And he's like, all right, see, that's true. You're about to run right into those. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, okay. It's like, if they don't tank here in a second. Oh, shite. Oh, shit, there's more. Make a left, make a left. Trying. Too, too late. Oh, they got oh God. Oh, God. That was so close. <gasps> Anyways. You're about to go off the edge of the world. <laughs> Anyways. Um, the army got the army general is basically says you know I can, it's one thing to have one guy that can sacrifice his life and obey orders, but it's an either but you have to have that throughout your troops. So the navy general finally goes, okay, I'll show you got all y'all one bad. He goes up up to a destroyer, looks up the crow's, crow's nest, and sees the ensign there. Then looks up the ensign and says. Sailor, jump down here. He's like, wait, you mean for me to get down there, General? He's kind of looking at the distance. He knows that if he jumps, it will kill him, or at the very least, break both his legs. But more than likely, will kill, because the height is like, no, jump down here. He looks at, at the General, looks at the distance, looks at the General again, and goes, fuck you, sir. <laughs> so, uh, any of you bo boys got anybody brave enough to tell a general to fuck off when they tell him to do something stupid? <laughs> oh, wow, it's way off of those. Put a leap up video in chat. Man, this whole story I heard a while ago, but I don't know if it's actually really true, but it's funny. But yeah. Basically, uh, communication between a lighthouse and a U.S. Uh, naval combat group, where the naval combat group is insisting that they get out of their way because they don't realize it's a lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. At the end of it. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you some, some from my friends that knew it's one of those i know people who knew people who knew people sort of thing yeah that's just hilarious, my time man. in the army you work with a lot of people if you're in the right field everyone's on the coast guard i was like ah oh, that sounds pretty out there i mean i can see it happening but oh yeah there's like so much miscommunication you guys are both out right ridiculous. yeah we're both out all right yeah. i'm gonna call this one here thanks a lot for watching guys <laughs>